How's it going guys? Um, it's kind of funny that I'm making this video because I've seen this more often than not. Um, I'm doing proper stick calibration for your transmitter. I have seen too many people get frustrated with stick calibration because they do not do it properly. I've even had a couple people tell me that they were about to give up FPV completely because they could not get these gimbal sticks calibrated correctly. Um, just for reference, uh, I did pick up the X9 Lite and I'll be using this for this video. Um, stick calibration is very simple and people try and overcomplicate it. So uh, let's get started. Welcome to FTX. As you can see in this video, um, my sticks are calibrated. Um, I will actually do, um, I'm going to do a little, I'm going to improper calibrate them real fast, just so we can, uh, go through the process when your sticks aren't calibrated correctly. So let me get my sticks off center. go back to the beginning all right as you can see my sticks are not center like they're not center what I've noticed a lot of people doing let's go back to stick calibration is the first step here when it says set your stick midpoints people will try and line up the screen circles and then when they line up the screen circles they'll press enter that's not what you want to do stop you do not want to be touching your sticks when you press enter on this step because it's not this is showing you how your sticks is not calibrated this is not showing you where it needs to be calibrated so what you want to do is your your pitch and roll is all spring center so that one needs to be left alone just let it sit naturally the yaw, let it sit naturally, but your throttle, you want to line up the center adjustment lines right there so you know that it, the throttle is center. Once you get there, if you notice, these circles are not lining up with the centers. That's what you want if your centers are not matching. Don't mess with the sticks. Press enter. Now progress into moving your sticks to all its extremes. And then you also got to remember your potentiometer. Um, every time you do a stick calibration, it resets your potentiometer. So you have to do it even if your potentiometer was correct. So just, uh, yeah. And that's it. It's it's that easy. Like, see how they're perfectly centered now? And all perfectly centered. So that's the big issue with stick calibration is make sure you allow the sticks to be center, not the screen. The screen is not what you want to center. The sticks are what you want to be and what you would consider their natural center. So I uh, hope this video helps. Um, maybe this will alleviate some confusion that like over 50% of it seems like the FPV community has when they're trying to calibrate their controllers. Um, I would always recommend doing a stick calibration um, when you ever get a new radio because nine times out of ten they're slightly off even if they were considered calibrated from the factory. But uh, yeah, like I said, hope this helps. See you in the next video.